Hey guys, welcome back to the Zonal Statistics tutorial. Uh, in this video, we're just going to real quick kind of confirm that the results we're getting are correct. We want to make sure that our code is doing what it's supposed to do. And so we can go ahead and get started on that. So what I have here is these red polygon outlines are the zones I'm using. And then this raster in the background is the raster that I'm getting the Zonal Statistics data from. So if you don't know what I'm talking about right now, it's probably a good idea to go back in this playlist um, and go back to the first part of this series. We're going through the zonal statistics algorithm in Python step by step. We've completed the majority of the work, and now we're just going to confirm that what we've done is right. Okay. So let's open up our attribute table for these zones to make sure we get the right ones um, selected with what we our code produces. I'm just going to open the table up. I'm going to we got ID two is the bigger one, ID one is that smaller one. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna close this now and I'm gonna clear that selection. Okay, so you notice here that this one which has uh, ID one is a lot higher elevations, right? High elevations are lighter colors. I'm gonna use this value tool which is a plugin that you can uh, download yourself and we're gonna enable it. We're just going to take a look at what our raster values are here. So you can see up here, we're getting around 2,700 in a lot of places. Um, 25, 26, 27. So we have 2740, 2750, 2770, almost 2780 in there. Okay. And then in our low one, we're getting down, you know, we got 1230, 1240. Well, yes, yeah, so around 1240, 1230, 1240, 1230 is kind of the 1230 is kind of the low elevation in there. Okay, we can come find our highest elevation. It's going to be on the edges here, looking at you know 1715, around in that value. Our lowest elevations in this one, looking at around 2430. There could be some smaller ones over here. 2420, somewhere in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our zonal statistics script and we'll just look at the values that we get from that for each of these features to make sure that they're lining up with what we're seeing uh, from our layer. So I'm going to go to plugins, uh, Python console, and this my script's open up here. You might need to click the uh, um, sorry, the, the show editor button to see your script if you loaded it up last time. Oh, and it's going to try to, hold on just a sec, I'm just going to close this so it doesn't try to um, dock. No, okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to run this script. And like I said, we created the script in the last few videos we've done. And it's going to print out the statistics that I've calculated over here in the console. And we're just going to look and confirm that those line up with the ones we're seeing on our map. So I'll go ahead and click run script. It takes a minute, and then you can see I'm going to make this bigger so we can see it a little easier. Um, okay, so here we go. So you can see that our first, our feature ID number one, this is going to be the higher elevation um, polygon, and number two, which is going to be our lower elevation polygon. Okay, and so you can see that our minimum elevation there was uh, just about 2,200 feet. Our max was just under 2,800, which is about what we saw there, okay? And if we look over at this next one, you can see that our minimum is 22, and our maximum is the same. So something is going wrong here um, because we have the exact same statistics almost for the minimum and the maximum, the mean, the median, the standard deviation, right? These are all looking like they are the same, okay? But when we look down here, oh, sorry, this is actually my mistake. They're not the same. This is, we're putting this through each time. So this is the first one, and this appends the second one to it, okay? So you see we have two dictionaries. Sorry, guys, my mistake there. We have two dictionaries. Here's one dictionary for the first one, and here's one dictionary for the second one, just like that, okay? So we've got those there. 
So you can see for this first one, our minimum is 2206. Our maximum is 2800, 2795. For our second one, our minimum is 1211. And our max is 2057. And those line up with the things we were seeing um, in, in the raster with those outlines. I apologize for that. Let me just show you what's happening as we go through and do this so you can, you can see what those are. And so if we go find our print statement, which should be down towards the end. So here we have print Z stats, print zonal statistics, and that's in a loop. So for each feature, it's going to print that out. Um, what we can do to make this show only once uh, is we can copy that, go down here, and come back out. Let's see where we're at. And let's come back out one more. And let's make sure we have zonal stats so it's defined outside, so we're good. I'm going to just put print zonal statistics, and we'll knock that back so our uh, spacing is correct, our notations are correct. And now when we click run, it will just print out one dictionary. It'll be a little easier to read, so I'll run the script again here. Okay. And now you can see with that newest one, we just have that one dictionary, and that's how you can kind of make those changes. Okay, so anyway, it looks like um, we're, we're calculating the statistics like we want to, and we can start to, to go through, and I'll show you how we can wrap this up. And if we wanted to, print this as a CSV file, um, or print it so we can, and then if it's a CSV file, we can then join it back to our shape file if we want to. So the next video, I'll show you how to print this as a CSV, um, so you can have those data available. Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying this tutorial series and let me know if you have suggestions for other algorithms or tutorials that you would like to see.